Hi everybody, Connor here from AlbertaGardener.com. I just wanted to give you all a quick update on the fall garden. Let you know how that was going after we had some really cold temperatures. As you can see, we got quite a bit of snow, but with that came temperatures overnight of minus 25 Celsius for four nights in a row. It didn't quite get down to that the night before I recorded this, which was November 15th, and at the time of recording, it was minus 12 degrees Celsius outside so let's go take a look at what it was inside it's nice and sunny in here it warms up quick nowadays it was 14 degrees Celsius inside as you can see there on the thermometer and there's the new tent covered up I couldn't get the radishes inside though however so they've been set out and they've died already that was a few days after but let's see what everything looks like underneath I put the tarp on top just to keep in just a little extra heat, anything I could that would let it, you know, that would let the heat stay a little longer because I knew it was going to be really cold. So then I put a blanket over top. It's my old fishing blanket. Just go out and sit on that when you go fishing. It works out great. Uh, and you can see it's just a thin blanket, but it helps hold in heat. And then I put three strips of bubble wrap from the old tent. I just laid them over top. And they they actually seem to help quite a bit as well. Uh, inside this tent, which is just a 30 by 30 tent, I used it for radishes in the spring. It was only 4 degrees Celsius at the time of recording because the sun wasn't getting in to solar heat it. But now that I've pulled everything back, it'll start. It can get up to... Uh, yesterday when it was minus 3, it got up to 20 degrees inside there. So, pretty good. It works out good. All the plants look really healthy. I have two one liter bottles of water painted flat black and put in. Actually, no, I have three. There's one around the back, too. You can't see it in the video, but it's around the other side. And I also have two four liter milk jugs full of water, also painted flat black, uh, one on each side of the big bucket. The big bucket is a five gallon bucket. It has an aquarium heater in it, just a 25 watt aquarium heater. And since I've put this together, even when it got down to minus 25, the lowest temperature in there was minus 0.8 Celsius, which is okay. These plants can survive that, no problem. I'm not sure what their low-end temperature is, but as long as it doesn't stay like that for too long, they can easily, easily pass through that. Even though the temperatures hadn't been above minus 12 Celsius for the last four or five days, there's still enough heat generated inside the greenhouse to start melting the snow around the outside, which is kind of neat, but then at night it would uh, it would all freeze up on the inside. The, the ice was pretty thick uh, a couple days before I recorded that, but now you get what you get. There's still a little bit for us to have fun with anyway. Uh, that's everything I have to show you for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Always leave comments if you want to. I'll get back to you on those as soon as I can. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day and keep on gardening.